Hey, what's up guys? I'm Sahil from Chronostick and this is the benchmark video of Nexus 6P. I'll be going through a couple of mainstream benchmarking apps to see how the Nexus 6P performs against all of them and to see how the stress testing really brings out the scores in the Nexus 6P. So let's begin with the Antutu benchmarking app. By far I like how the Nexus 6P is performing, it can pretty much handle all the graphical challenges, I don't see any frame drops, I don't see any lags whatsoever, it's doing a really nice job and the color reproduction is really great. The AMOLED display is really holding off to its name and giving the best of the colors that the graphic engine is throwing at it. and that's it. So the Nexus 6P has scored 88,760 points which is a really nice score. Let's see how it scored. In 3D it scored 30,529. In UX it scored 29,757. In CPU it scored 23,215 and RAM 5259. Let's see the ranking. Wow that's cool. The number one device is Huawei Mate 8 and the Nexus 6P is the second device. The funny thing is both of the devices belong to the same company. Now let's run the Geekbench 3 to see how it performs. Alright so this is the score. The phone has scored 1339 in the single core score and 4815 in the multi core score which is actually cool. The single core score as you can see is 1460-1476. So the Geekbench scores are pretty good. Let's try the GPU Bench app. And the test is about to end. 
Alright, so here is the result, 18,888 points and the screen resolution normalized score is 65,059 points with the lowest of 13 frames per second and the highest of 163.43 frames per second and the average was 61.43 frames per second which is an amazing score so there were no frame drops basically, no lag, nothing. It performed smoothly and let's begin with the next test. So this is the Ninamark bench test. So it scored 59.8 frames per second which is a nice score. Now that's a pretty nice score. Any score near 60 frames per second means it basically did not drop any frames. Which is actually a really nice performance because all the games generally stream at 60 frames per second. And So I would say the Nexus 6P is a pretty good performer for the price and you should probably consider buying it if you are looking onto one. Thanks for watching the video guys, if you liked the video then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to see more of my content. This is Kronstech signing off.